to Wedding Mayhem. What? I think I've started too early. Hey, yeah. Are we We're recording? recording? We're recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I hope your week has been a good one. Has your week been a good one? Yeah, I'm still getting my head around the fact that we started filming. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot. I didn't know whether you started filming or not. I'm still getting my head around the fact... talking to you. Welcome. Like, I'm, just, I'm just getting my head around the fact that you just shouted, I want semen. <laughs> no. I want to meet David Seaman. Right. <laughs> I'm out wrong. Oh, <laughs> right. I thought what I was going to say. Position. You... Position. Why? What were you going to When I look I back feel... at all the episodes, I'm practically fucking planking and laying down. <laughs> you do You do go that way, that I way, know, that I way. I know, I just sink. So I'm going to see if it's better. Because I, I, I want a bit that of hurts. therapy. Why? Because I'm not all right. Okay. Well, I'm literally... I'm literally eating beige food. We are so busy and I do a lot behind the scenes with the marketing and stuff like that and I can't cope. I actually went to bed. <laughs> Don't to sleep crying last night. Well, I just gave her a dress that I got a free refund on and she started crying. I was like, Sharon, it's not cost me anything. <laughs> She's like, are you sure? Just... And you cried as well the other day <laughs> at me because I said that you always look after me and you burst into tears. <laughs> No, you reflected on it and you cried on the way home <laughs> and told me about it the next day. I just need all the boo-hoos to come out. I'm just so, yeah. I'm just very emotional at the moment. It's just, I'm just tired. So, I, I think know, there's something in the water. I think, no, I just think anybody in our industry will definitely relate to being so tired. My, my eyes hurt, that, that's how tired I am. But anybody planning a wedding that is literally in the last six week leg, you know, where you're running around and... A, just coping emotionally and physically it's just draining it's too you know. much stress don't know why people do it too much stress <laughs> i don't think it's too wait, much stress wait think... seven years you'll be fine <laughs> look at me <laughs> stress free i just think there's a you, you you overload a lot you take on too much and you know probably i want to talk about in another episode of, of how to decompartment Oh my eyes. god! What's that word? <laughs> I'm an idiot. No, but I want to. I want to be able to try and break it down in sections of how to plan a wedding because it can be too much. We've had girls coming in that are literally, especially this last two weeks, you know, just sobbing. Not not for any reason, but it's a lot of pressure, and I find everyone's going to love listening to this. I know it's a real downer, isn't it? You know, um, just to lighten the mood because I know I'm going to forget. Got another Sharon word. We need to think of. A saying for this Sharon said oh I need some binoculars right okay <laughs> you're gonna fucking do me on the train I station. am yes I am I am I am I am I, I was gonna wait until because we're gonna do another episode after this one we're doing two back-to-backs today and um we're gonna do it um... I've been up since five what the fuck is that Oh, God, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. You um, find the I, shit out of me. I didn't realise you were filming. It's like a fall in the building. It's, like, well, it's all week anyway, so. Have you been having trouble oh with it? Oh, my God. This? No, we've had you guys in that building. Oh, and the electrics. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's a fault. It's like something's tripping the breakers. So oh, like, it's your oh. fault that our, do our journey to, was delayed this morning. Was it? Yeah. What did your, I do? All your bloody vans are everywhere. Sorry. Well, well, there's, a, there's a fault in the building. Something's tripped, so the whole unit keeps going out. I need to look at your. <laughs> We're the you fault. Wedding mayhem. Are you guys the wedding? The wedding mayhem. Person? Yeah. Was it Sharon and Lauren? Yeah. Um, you're not going to believe this. Like my partner, who's my this wife, she's be a such setup. a massive. Alex, Alex, what? Alex, they're doing wedding mayhem in here. <laughs> oh my God. It's wedding. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm not oh even joking. Is this a joke? No. Oh, is this a wild? I was. I was screaming. Oh, so what are you talking about now? Oh my We're God, famous. I'm like, are we being done? No. Oh my God, you're actually for real. I watch like every episode. I'm such a big fan. Sure. Like, this is so exciting. Um, do you want a hug? Do you want to do the? We, can we? Can we do something for you? Can yeah. we do like a? Can we, we don't do autographs. No, I couldn't. I get too nervous. No, 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 come on. Like, when's you gonna get the opportunity for it again? Come on. Oh my God. Right, okay. Right, okay. Right, hold on. Um, I think. I, hold on. I think I saw something here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This will work. Oh my god, okay, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, right. We're getting done okay. No, 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 no. She's wanting to. We sing the... a bit on the we, side, you we, see. We do a bit of singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, like, we... Oh, we're not going to be an audition. We're not going to be a wedding okay. singer to come right, on. To this is mad. Alright. Okay, alright. You ready? Okay. Yeah, okay. Go on. What you got? 
You've got a friend in oh. Shazza. <laughs> You've got a friend in Shazza. In Shazza. They come from far and wide for her bridal expertise. She's always buzzing around. And she's obsessed with bees. <laughs> She is collecting husbands, but the best things come in threes. Oh, you've got a friend in Shazza. Yes, you do. You do. You've got a friend in Shazza. But everybody wants to be Lauren. Lauren. She always knows the right thing to say. Feels like a good friend straight away. Make sure that she's well fed, so not in a hangry state. And always leave extra time. She's often late. Look at our Lauren. Isn't she neat? Just give her a chicken nugget and her day's complete. Always asking silly questions because Lauren, she forgets everything. <laughs> what can Sharon say except to welcome? You're welcome. For not joining the RAF. <laughs> She's found her calling in bridal instead. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now come to think of it, just a spoonful of Shazza helps that glass of wine go down. Yeah. That glass of wine go down. The glass, glass of wine go down. Just never get in her car the way she zooms around the town. <laughs> but Sharon always makes a day. And Lauren. <laughs> show you the world <laughs> of knowing all the celebrity gossip but she can't drive very far without someone dinging her car but this girl can actually sing wow. and Sharon it's true oh Sharon it's true no boss could ever compare to you you work hard every day to do things your perfect way you're the heart and soul of Love Me Do. Oh, we'd like to thank. We'd like to thank. The whole podcast team. The whole podcast team. For bringing the fun. Joy and delight. And, and all your wedding, wedding advice. advice. Yeah, we need, like, to, like, we need to sort out the so, electrics is the main thing. Yeah, so oh my god, that. you really do know us really well. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll, so we'll take off the houses. <laughs> <laughs> We're the tailors. Nice to meet you. Surprise! Oh you knew about this, did you know? Yeah. Where does everyone know? <laughs> <Everybody. not laughs> sorry, Lauren. Oh my god, that we had to so surprise good. you. We didn't mean to you. deceive you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Really married. No. <laughs> it was good-hearted deception. Oh, you like to. You're the tailor. We are the tailor. We are amazing. We are amazing. We're just gonna get Josh out the high base. Yes, yeah. so we're all gonna yeah, get yeah, yeah. sacked out. Well. <laughs> I'm still in these these truck these techie trousers so that hilariously are so good. I don't know I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Did you remember the? We're quiz to Miss, Mr. <laughs> Mrs. and Miss Quiz that I gave you to do with the words. Write some nice things about me and me yeah. to you. Yeah. That this was it. That was it. Oh, I'm so so you saw your image. <laughs> I need a wine. <laughs> Can I just say? Right. There's another guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, another one. <laughs> oh, so We've actually got some uh, wine and Jaffa cakes. Yes! Oh, she loves the mail bit. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <She's> just... <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. And uh, thank you for... I don't know. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Your pets are so <laughs> Lauren's mad. <laughs> that was a little liar. She's mad as a box of frogs. Oh, oh no, that's mad as a box of frogs. You're my best friend. You're giving me that look. I can't believe you knew as well. So we need to definitely introduce you. You are the yes, tailor. Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting over the fact that there's no electrical faults in the building. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Taylor Surprise when Singers. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Still going. Thank you. But there is security for when you leave, by the way. Yeah, it's normally <laughs> us playing security as well. So you are the Taylor That's Surprise you. Singers. Mm. So I said that again. Oh, what a surprise it was! <laughs> <laughs>
I think what you do is in the title of what you do anyway, isn't Clear it? Yeah, very much so. But just for who <laughs> doesn't know who you are, please tell us what you actually do. So we um, go to events, mostly weddings, and yeah. we surprise guests. We go undercover, a bit like singing waiters, but yes. actually when we sing, we sing all about the couple yeah. um, and the people at the event and the wedding party really? and things like that. So it's tailored lyrics to, to them. Right, so, okay. Yeah. There's a lot of so prep good. that goes into this, as I, as, I know, lot, as I know. Yeah, a lot of prep. <laughs> a lot of prep goes into each performance, yeah. So where do you, where do you start with a couple getting married or, or somebody planning an event? Yeah, so um, we, obviously they'll book us. Sorry, I'm so rude. I have not even introduced your (laughs) blimmin' names. Honestly, I've been up all night, like, not worrying, but like, it was adrenaline. It was adrenaline. I'm so excited. I've been up all night getting over shock. (laughs) (laughs) So we have Alex. Yeah. You're the director. Yeah. We have Ben. I knew it was bad. And you are you you're from Never Read the Comments, which is your new podcast that you've just I am in stitches. It's my go to good title of the show. Yeah. Podcast. (laughs) Really good. It literally is my run run running pod now. Oh really really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, not we've also got Joshua. Yeah, so Josh, Josh. Is, um, Josh is one of the singers on the Taylors yes. team and we have another company called Club Mob which does flash mobs as well that's actually how the Taylors started and Ben is a dancer on that team and he also is a, our head of content so he makes all the content he films us all the time and he's always in the background with the camera and so we thought we'd put him in the camera uh, today and we also have a podcast together Right so we, you, we talk about Club Mob this is how you started yeah. tell us more about it yeah, so I guess that is the origin story, isn't it? Yeah. Club Mob with the Taylors. Let's start at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I started Club Mob 10 years ago. It's our 10 so year you started anniversary. It. Yep, yeah. Mm. I started it hilariously as Why? something. Why? It was something mm. to keep me busy in the evenings and earn me money so I could be free for acting auditions in the daytime. Look <laughs> <laughs> how that turned out, guys. Um, haven't done an acting audition, I think, for yeah, about yeah. nine years. Um, but yeah, so. What happened to our lady that did the grazing boards? Oh, really? She, she literally did this to, to fund her auditions and oh, stuff like that. You and know. then it just turns into yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I, it's, it's a dance company. So it started off as a, as a surprise dance company because there were loads of singing waiter companies, mm. but there were no kind of like surprise, like dancing waiter companies no, or flash actually. mob companies. Yeah. So I sort of used my training in acting and dancing to kind of bring the two together and um, started the company that was called Club Mob. And it was called Club Mob because it was designed for nightclubs originally. Oh, okay. So... But it turns out they have no money and they're all awful in that industry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, um, so we, we moved away from the nightclub industry and started doing more private events and then in turn into more corporate events. And then people kept asking me for singers and I sing. So I was like, well, how hard can it be to create a singing version of what we do? Um, turns out quite difficult. It's mm. a lot harder because you need to worry about sound equipment and all that right, stuff. It's like okay. so much more complicated. You don't just turn up, press play and dance. You've got to do sound checks and like, this is so much complexity to it. Mm. And um, and so whilst Club Mob was still running, the Taylors was born, but it started off at acapella, didn't it? We started yeah, off doing acapella stuff. Ago. That is so, it's hard to rehearse that and get it really perfect. Yeah, and yeah, also yeah. you have to have at least five singers and that's quite expensive for, for clients. Yeah. So, um, but while we were doing the acapella stuff, we actually started changing a name here and there. We'd be like, because George, you're amazing just the way you are. And George would be like, <gasps> and like burst out crying. And we were like, oh, that's quite an extreme reaction. <laughs> but we just changed the name. So... Then I started changing more lyrics, didn't mm, I? Um, yeah, yeah. And they'd come to rehearsal and they'd be like, Alex, you've changed so many of the words. And I was like, can we just go with it? Let's see what happens. So um, you experimented as, as you went. Yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah it, we it gradually Because with Cl- Club Mob, actually, you went very viral. Yeah, the stuff go, stuff on both companies goes viral quite often, but the Club Mob stuff, has, some of it's gone really viral a couple yeah. of times. Like one of our videos one year got... 30 million views on YouTube wow. and it, it was like it was so mad I remember it was over Christmas and I kept refreshing it and it was going up by 50,000 views wow. every second wow. like on the refresh and I was like Matt this is my partner I was like Matt 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 something's really happening <laughs> oh my god it was which so one was it crazy it was a proposal we did in Leicester Square in Leicester Square the, okay oh, where wow. he joins yeah. in and he's he puts we're all in masks yes. like we all put masks on in the middle of the flash mob 
What and type the of guy mask? comes in. They're like um, white ones, like yeah. Jabberwockies. Have you heard yeah. of that dance group? It was really similar. Scary. The guy was a really <laughs> no, good dancer. Not much. Yeah. So it's like, no. so it's, yeah. like, it's like basically, you know, when you're in London and then there's random people just dancing, like it's a little bit of entertainment. Yeah. And you yeah. stop. Like, don't like you, chicken you know? farmers. Yeah. 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 You were yeah. sitting in the same place. If you didn't come in in them today, I'd literally <laughs> like, get down. Yeah, everyone. It's a, bit, it's a bit. It's a bit scary actually when you think about how they look, but. So he joined in and he was actually really amazing. And then he removes the mask and she thought he was in another country. His fiance was there, but she thought he was in LA. And she, her face, her jaw just drops, isn't it? And like she, and it's just so magical that moment. And it's that reaction that got it, you know, 30 million views and something. And then he gets down on one knee and he asks to marry him and she, you can hear her say, she says it so loud, a thousand times yes. (laughs) And this massive crowd is like, and it's just like, it's just the most amazing moment. I think that's why it went viral. Yeah, yeah, my God, my God. We so, really do reaction going to go viral. No, not at oh, all. About we were COVID. talking about how the tailors came to be. I think it started, yeah, it started off, we were doing minimal personalization and then gradually grew it into this yeah. amazing sort of template that we have now for really including a lot of information about um, the bride and groom themselves and their friends, bringing in a lot of in-jokes and things like that. Mm. So it became... Really personal. It became this yeah. really uh, amazing USP because I yeah. think um, there's a lot of singing waiter companies out there, but yes. being able to bring people into the fold like that and make them really feel part of it and, when, and make them feel sung about, is it's a very different sensation to joining in and doing this like a sing-along. You know, when yeah, you're really... Yeah personalising it and making well, it about a memory them. It forever, becomes very it? touching for yeah. them. And I think it's quite overwhelming for some people as well sometimes. Oh, well, yeah. I was a bit yeah. I, was, no, I, knew, I knew about it as well. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It was just, you know. It has a weird effect on people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? You know, oh, I was overwhelmed. You fucking knew. <laughs> <laughs> Still not <laughs> over it. <laughs> Yeah. It's going to take a while. Gonna, yeah, you've yeah, really, you really never, broken the trust yeah, me, we'll we'll start tomorrow. You're in the doghouse for a while. I don't care. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, so, who are you at weddings? Like, who, what do you, are you, are you a get, like, what's your story? We're normally waiters or waiter and waitress and a chef is mm. a thing we do Who's the a chef? Lot. Yeah, yeah. you look like a chef. You've yeah. never done a chef, have you? You've never been the chef. I was a chef for Jamie and Sophie Lang. I came in with a cake. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, so can I we actually love that. Can we just talk about this? Because oh, you used to. Pro- I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> you did. This is a joke as well. No. <laughs> no, this is true. Everything from now is true. I they're, they're the people that surprise um, Jamie Lang and Sophie Habu oh. on her birthday. Yeah, we came yeah. in on her yeah. birthday. Yeah. I'm obsessed her reaction was fantastic. Oh, they're yeah. really nice. They're really nice. Oh, they're really nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Are they really in love? Yeah. Well, I've not, not actually seen them together that much because yeah. like, they're, they're so busy yeah. that you sort of deal. I mean, we've dealt mostly with Jamie because yeah. she had no idea about the first one. Oh, and wow. she actually, we surprised her originally when they changed their name to from Nearlyweds to Newlyweds just after they got married. Uh, we did a big flash mob with Club Mob um, in Victoria where he got up and sang, you're oh, too, yes. too good to be good. Didn't know any of the like, lyrics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, funny. oh, was that you? Yeah, that was oh, us. But that's how God. they knew us. And then yeah. I suggested doing something for her. And he oh, was my. like, he actually got in touch three days before her birthday and were like, and was like, can you do something? Oh, and I was like, him. thank you for leaving it last minute. But it was fine. Like we went in and did oh, it. You um, smashed that. Yeah, it was really that was fun. Yeah. 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 They, they looked like a lovely couple. Like she did, like you, she was like a bit like, oh my, oh my God, like, yeah. Yeah. Are, we, are we okay? Like, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, Liam happened? rushes in as security on that one, didn't oh, he? Yeah, it was. Oh, and she you? screams in that. She, she like, screams. Yeah. Like, yeah. The mic peeks out and it's like, ah! But how do you react to people's reactions? Yeah, you have, you have to, to roll with it, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Is there not times where you've nearly like wet yourself laughing? There's got to be been been a couple. But... <laughs> Content creator here yeah, is like laughing. Like... <laughs> Come on, give me a There is one. You need to tell them about the one, the part, the proposal. Park. Yeah. yeah they were do- so we do a lot of proposals. I love this. And um, that's a big part of what we do these days. Out and about. I just think with um, you know planning a wedding, it's not just getting married on the day. It's not just about the day. It's the build up. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and the, the, you know, the proposal is really important. Yeah. Absolutely. And we have done a couple of couples where we've done the proposal and their wedding, and their wedding. as well. Yeah, this happened on a couple of occasions. Really but a lot of the times we do proposals and then the, they, they dis- these people really. just disappear on their lives together yeah. and we never see them again. There was one couple that we... Rude. Did. <laughs> no, it's kind of humbling. You know, you get to be part of this really amazing yeah. um, moment and then they go off and you think, oh, there was a... I'll, I'll be sort of, you, you've written yourself into the history of their relationship. Yes. And then they go off and start their life together and you yeah. think, oh, that's nice. You'll never be forgotten. But there was yeah. one we did in Holland Park in Shepherd's Bush oh, and it was so... a couple, they were coming in from abroad, weren't they? Yeah, from and Israel, I think. From Israel. And... 
the the best the best man to be and his partner had, were sort of scoping it out and had, or, had organised it for him. She didn't know obviously. The groom I think w was in on it. I think on that one. The best man and the yeah the guy had yeah, booked it. This was about three groom. years ago, I'd say, Something like and that. it sticks in my yeah. memory. Wait, so they were he was going to propose. In London, in it's, London. It's, it's out and about, and their friends were gonna. Their friend was them. there as no, their friend was there their as well. He was just accompanying them. them on the trip. Okay, the best friend, and this mm. is an important detail. The best friend, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were doing it in the Japanese Garden in Holland Park, uh, yeah. in Shepherd's Beautiful. Bush, beautiful lake. Yeah. And the best friend was like very insistent that we perform it out on, on this, the bridge, on the bridge, and I say bridge in it, the loosest sense. In that it's really just a series of stepping stones is, that yes. go over oh, the water. Yeah, 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 There's no yeah. rails. There's no, no rails. No, 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 no. I know it's exactly where you are. I'll I'll take and, care we, and I remember suddenly just saying to him, "Do you not think it would just? I think there's just a bit more room on the shore." <laughs> it was, you know it's quite like narrow, you know. Yes. You, you can't yeah. fit that many people. Well, it's, on it's it. the illusion steps, isn't it? I think they call them or something, something like, like that. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. It's very. I mean, it's beautiful setting, yeah. but you are literally in the middle of a lake. Yeah. Uh, on a small boulder, and um, <laughs> as we start the performance, the best man is this there with his with his camera, just kind of panning around, trying to get the reaction of the of the bride to be, etc. And I'm performing to them, and I can just see him moving behind the shoulder of the groom, and then suddenly his head just goes <laughs> like that, and he just disappears out of my peripherals. And I look, and he is just up to the neck in it. Yeah, and, and it didn't just, look, doesn't look that deep, does it? Doesn't look that it deep. It looks like it's like that deep it's when you're a yeah. short man. <laughs> Honestly, I would have been up to his chin. I would have drowned. Yeah. And he's desperately trying to keep his phone out of the And he's like, oh, 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 my oh, spluttering. And oh. Alex hasn't even come in. I missed it. Jeez. I heard a massive noise, and then I look, and I, ca I can't see. I can see fluff, like flailing in the yeah. water. And Josh just turns around to me with this face. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, did that just happen, you know? Oh my God. Trying to keep like, a straight face. He's like, has the proposal do happened? Do, do, I, this do I save him or do I go? No, no, it's not happened. Like, we've oh. barely, barely started. No, I barely, barely started. started. Oh, and I was no. like, because we're a couple aware of this. Oh, no. oh yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. everyone oh, right in the park was aware so of it. So they're as close, it. As, like... close as you are now to us. But they weren't aware they were that you were about to sing. Or, or no, then. we were. I'd already started. Oh, yeah, he was singing to them already. I was already oh singing, God. and then, but it hadn't got. To, I think it was Christina Perry's Thousand Years, <laughs> you know, time, which of course you, you know, can take so, seriously after that happens, really, can't you? You can really yeah, get into yeah. it. It was very, it was so like good. very emotional and stuff, and then just suddenly the whole, the, the whole atmosphere was just shattered by him falling in. So then, and then Alex came in and started again, head to toe, and then he's like standing there dripping, and like we're trying to make it romantic. The atmosphere is just gone. Because she knows what's going to happen now, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah and yeah. they almost started just talking amongst themselves, didn't they? Because yeah. obviously, as well, English wasn't her first language, which is always oh. slightly trickier for us because we've done this. Okay. We try and make the arrangements a bit more basic and clear. Yeah. In that mm. So is it important sense. for couples to let you know that? Yeah, yeah, which we would know anyway because we ask loads about them. We, yeah. Find, yeah. we really find out everything. Loads of questions. Loads of questions, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so that was quite an interesting one. Yeah. yeah. You can't, she, how can you predict things like that? And we no. even said to him because we we went. They, you know, I'd said to him, "Be careful, you don't fall in." Kind of as a joke. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Did she say yes? So, yeah. Oh, she, she did. did. Yeah. We, we never had. We never, never had. It's too awkward. Yeah. Too much yeah. got in. Too awkward. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> too much. But I tell you, I would kill to see that mobile phone footage, though. I know. Oh, oh my I'm god! I'm just stacking it. <laughs> it, it oh. I've just posted on our um, on our bridal um, thing. It literally, it's it's a friend, obviously, that had one job of the proposal, and it's on the sand dunes, oh, and I've she fall, and she falls down, and she's still holding the phone. She gets up, she falls down again. I think that's three. Can't get her foot in back. Oh, no, 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 no. And in the end, she just lies there. <laughs> The phone up like that. Yeah. Angle like that's really pretty much. Oh, how sweet. Though, <laughs> no, no, but the phone like, stays up. The, like priority, like holding a baby. That's a good friend. Don't let it drop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh really I remember you texted me after that one as well. We were walking away from it after all the buzz had gone, and we were walking home, and he just messages me going, "He fell in, Alex. He fell in," <laughs> and I just laughed all the way <laughs> home. <laughs> I've still got that message on my phone because it's just like... How long ago was that? Oh, God. That's three like, years. Three right. years, three or yeah. four years oh, ago. Yeah, so, yeah, we, we've never done one there since, actually. No. Funnily enough. <laughs> we try... don't recommend it. Yeah, oh, we try and deter people from 
from repeating that if we can. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. But, uh, I know, I think you should do it again. So we're going to try to beat them. I'm I'm there, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. go and follow the light. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, literally. <laughs> cool. So, uh, so uh, how you? So you had this wonderful idea. Yeah. Well, Alex uh, had this wonderful idea. How did you meet? I sent her an email. Saying, "Can I, can I have some work? <laughs> can I? Oh, right. yeah. I was looking for jobs. I was an actor. Watch was... me get loads of emails now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Struggling actor, just trying to. Try, With like, a voice well, like that. Well, thank seriously, you. that's very kind. Um, I, that came along a bit. The voice acting side of things came along a bit later. But yeah, I was looking for work and I wanted to find a way that I could get paid to play music and I decided oh singing weird is that's a thing and then I, I just wrote to Alice and it was just right time right place I guess and also you didn't really you thought I was a bit much at first didn't you oh yeah yeah. <laughs> it's so funny he said to me because we're like Still really doing. proper Nothing. best mates now <laughs> yeah, like, we're yeah, such yeah, good mates yeah, yeah. a bridesman at my wedding yeah. Yeah. next oh, weekend I have to say I'm the tallest bridesman ever, ever. Like, <laughs> this lady's getting married next week next week yeah, ne- Sunday yeah. next this week this is my excuse why you weren't going to be here <laughs> but you had oh, to yeah. rush off to your, no, your but I'm still committed your venue. Actually, yeah. oh my god where are you getting married Spain Seville oh no yeah. oh, very like exciting it. I love it yeah I know oh my god there's so much still to do anyway <laughs> here in this moment now <laughs> yeah. it's fine but yeah he didn't like me when we first well not didn't like me but thought it was a bit much <laughs> we're, oh, very did, different, did like we're very different personalities yeah, like the opposite but now yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that works with yeah. business I think if you if you're all the same then there's no injection yeah, of true. ideas yeah. or anything yeah, and the totally. same as our company we're we're all really different why are you looking at me like that? we're all <laughs> still we're wrestling. all very different we're all different ages as well mm. so i think it just complements as mm-hmm. well it's, mm-hmm. I think it's important that if you're all two the same then it gets a bit stale yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you need different you dif- need different characteristics to to sort of bring that vitality to it, don't you? Need you? A grumpy yeah. and a happy. You need a grumpy and a happy. <laughs> Are you happy I love all the that time? You've got the, little, like, the hat as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got the grumpy, grumpy hat. Got the grumpy. Hat on. Aren't all the men grumpy beard. though? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that furious. This yeah, furious. He's not grumpy. He's yeah. a very. No, you happy. Yeah. He's a very happy. I bet you the cutest. Calm on the outside. Calm on the outside. Calm on the outside. Angry on the inside. Yeah. My husband says. Yeah. 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 Hot yeah. pudding. <laughs> You're a hot pudding. Hot pudding. <laughs> I literally really feel like you were probably the cutest little boy ever. Because yeah, I've got that face. Yeah, okay. I can just. And tell. how did you come to be here? I, you, I, you also probably sent me an email at some point. No, uh, well, everybody you, send you, Alex an email. Yeah, yeah. I, I will. Auditioned, yeah, because he was on my dance team, so he joined in 2016 into Club Mob, wow. and then you went away just before COVID, didn't you, for yeah. four years or so? Yeah, roughly that. Oh no, it can't be four years. I don't know. Three, so, a couple three, of years. Like, yeah. And then he got into filming, and like when he was away, and when he came back to London, he was like, "I'm doing videography now." And I was like, "Oh, well, let's get you back into club as a dancer, and mm. also into video." Yeah, and it just sort of grew, right? It just took on more within the company, and then became yeah. head of content eventually. And because we needed a head of content, because when you you know you, you're really like you try and do everything yeah. yourself, yeah. don't you? Oh, and then you're like, yeah. I need help. The lifeblood of this yeah. company, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you know <laughs> times have changed a big time, and podcasting is is really important now. Mm. Mm. I think people watch YouTube and po- listen to podcasting more than they watch normal TV yeah. now. You well, know? It's like it's the new radio, right? Like you kind mm. of people yeah. wire into radio for their personalities, but now you can listen to your favourite personalities whenever you want. So. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it can also be in the background as you're it's working totally as well, and, and yeah. you know, yeah. so it's important. Yeah, yeah. You know. Mm. Oh, you're like a little family, aren't you? You also yeah, need to do a calming is. app. You know, the calm app that we had his nap to on the You train. just want to take him home now, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to do a script for you? What yeah, can yeah. you? <laughs> you can't just pound words. Like, you need a nap. You don't have that scene You're also friends. the agent. <laughs> Joey listens to it. When Joey's listening to something, it's a woman going, you're a strong, independent you're woman. You're a strong, independent woman. I am a strong, independent woman. I'll do an ad spot for you. Can you like do that. one? Yeah. So when did, when did you do your first wedding? That's a good one, Alex. So when did when was that? We did one first wedding as a cappella group, and that was when I changed George. You're amazing, just the way you are. And that that reaction to that, I was like, wow. But the rest of the performance, I felt wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. And that's when we kind of decided to abandon the a cappella stuff a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That was back in. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I was I was never that confident with the acapella stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it takes so much watch. rehearsal to yeah. get everything because if you as you get busy, someone's a tiny well. bit yeah. off, yeah. it just wrecks it. Do you know what I mean? So you really I wouldn't even know. On it, and I think that's why people don't get that at weddings because it's just not really a viable option. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Pentatonics yeah. do it well, but that's about Pentatonics, it. Pentatonics, yeah, <laughs> they're the best. Um, and so 
then we kind of started personalizing stuff more didn't we mm. and then we did this one wedding mm. and i remember it so clearly because it was for this couple called amy and john and their brother had booked it so thank you wherever you are brother. <sighs> and he was like um the bride's name was amy so i said to him i was like i'd love to you know all the songs with baby in them yeah, yeah. i'd love to change all do a little medley and change all of that to be baby. about baby amy. yeah <laughs> and they uh, 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 say sorry ch- baby to amy <laughs> See, there, there you go. We didn't do we that joined. one. We've done it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, you send the video. I have, I have got video footage of her singing. She is actually really no, good. No, I'm really good at off the bat. So I'd like, used to like sing like little jokey songs to my friends <gasps> and things like that. And me, me and John do it all the time to each other. So you're a freestyle rapper? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. don't do that to me. That's it. Oh, she's a bit of a Liam. You don't get on and well with Liam um, from our team. Oh, right. And my, <laughs> my initials are MC. So I could be like LMC. Yeah. Sure, gold. Yes. Nice. Goldie. Love it. Send an email. <laughs> Send an email. Send an email. Send an email. I did a, I did a wedding um, and one of the guests was Goldie and they all there jumped in the pool together. <laughs> Not in the pool, in the, in the, in the lake. Oh, oh my god, maybe it was the same. Deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> god. Well, he loves same it. Day. He loves it. We got him once and then he can't get enough. <laughs> but you started really young. Um, of... Well, of what? <laughs> <laughs> I was singing and dancing my whole life. Like okay. I was yeah. like. So how yeah. did you, how have you started? In terms of my background, yeah. Um, I well, I was always singing and dancing. Had singing lessons at school. Was always dancing around, doing Irish dancing. For ages. Clear, Irish actually. dancing. Love but... <laughs> and uh, and then when I got out of school, I went to um, I went to drama school instead of university for a year. I did, okay. didn't get into any of the unis that I that I wanted to get into I did aim high at Oxford and stuff but I just was like and it's actually really good that I didn't get in um because I really value that now that I didn't go to uni because I went to drama school for a year down in London and then after that I set up club mob but in the middle of all that I was a computer genius so for were... Apple for like eight and a half years oh, wow. but how old were you when you set it up uh 20 tw- I must have been 20 oh my god this math isn't math isn't nothing um <laughs> I must have been 25 God, okay. yeah. yeah, 25. I was 25 when I set up Club Mob, yeah. I both 22. started it two years before. Thank you, I'm 36. I just turned 36. Oh my God. Yeah. Botox. So young. <laughs> don't, get, don't get Botox I'm though. I, no, I, well, my eyebrows are raised, no. apparently. No, just, <laughs> we'll never know. No, I, I don't like my, mine because yours looks incredible, but mine like has made my eyes funny, so I'm not going to get it again. My sister-in-law but... does hers. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's probably but why. While they're making a cup of tea. It's I like... started young. Yeah, I've got to get this kid. Yeah, twelve years old. Yeah, got to have my eyebrows done. Forehead, so I like yeah. really wrinkly. I'm very because you frown I, a lot. No, I don't <laughs> frown. Actually, I'm not a frown. You're no, expressive. I raise my yeah, expressive. Thank yeah. you. She frowns a lot. That's so good. Honestly. But yeah, I worked for Apple for like eight and a half years, which is wow. super random as a, as a technician genius. Yeah. So I wow. took apart computers and fixed them back together and did software repairs and hardware. That is so technology. random. Yeah. I know, really random. But it actually helped me when I set up Club Mob, I was working part time for Apple and it pay, it was so well paid that I didn't have to take any money from the company for the first two years or so Fair. for me. So then it really helped me sort of oh, invest in work. work for Apple. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so. But I was I was saying about the Amy and John wedding, wasn't I? The yeah, first that was one. such a breakthrough. Sorry, this is no, no. this is why we're called mayhem because we literally. I love it. I love it. We can roll with it. We can roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> but but the Amy and John wedding, we we decided to change loads of loads of lyrics more than we'd ever changed before to okay. be all about Amy. You know, mm. what, yeah. And, is and there a particular song that you would use? Guys, let's face again. Well, we, yeah, this, but... was, this was sort of when we were coming, when we were finding those things. Yeah. Like, yeah okay. Then we were still in a process. Now we have songs that we. We Tell always late. do bespoke stuff and we always try and inject new stuff in depending on what the bride and groom want. I was going to say, could they say that they've got a particular favourite song? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. incorporate that. But back then, well, this was when we were still trying to sort of discover some of those. <laughs> Sometimes we yeah. do that. Anyway, yeah. Sometimes we can. So, it depends on what they want because, you know, if, if they want something like Adele or something that's really low key and something that maybe mm. doesn't um, lend itself to rewriting, yeah, then we yeah. can't. Then we can't more do it. Well. We're, we're more upbeat. Yeah. We're, and more it has up. to be something that's very well known yeah. because then if you're changing all the words, if yeah. it's not well known, people don't know the music either. It's just a bit jarring with the rest of the sound. I mean, you could do a few. So, God, Adele. is there ever times when you have someone <laughs> you're you? like, yeah. you know, when you're saying Amy, you can do baby. What would you like? What do you do when someone's like, yeah, my wife's called Shavanossian? Like, and you're like, fuck. We had an Astrid once. And that Astrid. was a challenge. Astrid. Yeah. Oh, we really? did, because Astrid's all right. I'm going to give her all the mother. Then you're going 
gonna go. You know, the kids are all right. That song. So we did that Some work. of them are more tenuous than others. Yeah. Um, but just got we to get always the word. make it work. We always yeah. make it work. But like, we always make it, there's always a nickname. There's I was gonna say, what's the like... weirdest thing that you've been asked to put in? I was asked to sing once. <laughs> well, um, what's well, that well, Rihanna song? Come on, come on, come on, Ben. Clip that on its own. No. Stop it. The Rihanna song, like, um, what's that? Go work, 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 work. Oh, I was going to say, work, 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 work. I was like, no I don't think that would work. work. In acoustic like, as well. In like acoustic, it's, it's with a yeah, because we've, right? we've also been asked to do like rap, like Eminem. We did. We have oh, thrown in a so tiny bit of Eminem, yeah. but you can't Give do loads of it. Miles, it's it. not not everything works with the guitar accompaniment. Like right. some of it, you need that yeah, background music, or exactly. or some of it just doesn't fit our vocals. Sometimes we get asked, "Can you do opera?" You did Ness and Dorma once, but that I was like an add-on thing to what we normally do. If people want the singing waiters that are opera singers, we just say, "Go book them." Because right. that's not what we are. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we yeah, do exactly. this. So we have a template set that actually, most of it originated from that first wedding with Amy and John. Oh. Because on that wedding, it was just magical. The couple didn't know. And um, they were, at first they were like, what is this chef? Because you came out and you did the whole, I'm getting married myself next weekend. I'm the head chef. Hi, everyone. Sorry to interrupt. I, the staff have got me a present and they won't let me have my present for my wedding until I come and sing you a quick song I'm awful do you mind if I just sing you a quick song oh. and he sings the song and then he gets the guitar and he starts singing about Amy and John and they've gone from like what the hell is this guy doing to like <laughs> oh my god and then by the end of the set the groom is in complete floods of tears oh. yeah. and it's such a magical kind of like transition yeah. and we, and then the whole wedding stood up didn't they they gave us a massive standing ovation yeah. and I we came off that one buzzing yeah. I was yeah. like we're on something here. Mm. Yeah. That the video really went special. viral as well, which always viral. cements it, right? Yeah. Like I'm millions go home and, and millions watch of views. Yeah. And it's really long. It's the whole set. It's like, it's like 10, 15 wow. minutes. Wow. So to, that's yeah. really good to get, you know, they, it's a minute you've been told. Yeah. yeah. You know, I know, yeah. yeah. It's concentration it's levels, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. listen to the whole of it. It's really, really mm. cool. Mm. So what kind of couples would, would book you? Mm. Anyone? It really is, it is then anyone, but then again, we tend to see, they have to have a sense of fun, a little bit of a mischievous side, yeah. because it's that surprise element that people yeah. are like, oh, could do something a bit different. But then also, we don't tend to get many really young couples. It tends to be right. slightly older couples, well, like more like, is? You know, I think it's, they want their guests to have fun. Right. They're really invested in like, let's take the piss out of ourselves a little bit. Yeah. Let's bring the wedding party in. Let's make them all feel really special. And let's have the guests having a really good time. Is it more serious, the younger sets? I think, I think they're maybe. more self-conscious. But yeah, more self-conscious. Okay. Yeah. And because the set is to them, and okay. it's all, it does put you on the spot. Like, don't book us if you are really like, I don't want to be in the spotlight at all. Because yeah. you will be sung about for quite a while. So people yeah. are going to be looking at I mean, at we you. get this with brides when they're trying their dresses on and everything. And we're like, mm. you know, get the dress right you'll forget because people won't be looking at your face they'll be looking at your dress yeah you yeah. know so we, and it you know, helps them to feel more confident yeah about, so we right? try and get that right at that end so yeah. you know it builds yeah. up the confidence as they go sort of thing so if they yeah, feel great for some people it must be kind of mental a wedding because you, you do, you're all of a sudden the centre of attention if you yeah. don't like that I mean I was real I, was love it, I hate it but <laughs> Uh, what do you do? <laughs> You're looking at the camera. Fuck um, me. Yeah. So that's the kind. I think older couples. We get a lot of um, second marriages and stuff as well because yeah. they're much more chilled what on about the wedding. Fourth? Yeah, fourths. Actually, we've never had a fourth. We're so open to it. Make sure you yeah. go. Open to it. Right, who's that for? Right. <laughs> Message in. Email. Yeah. Current one's broken at the moment, so you know. Oh, bless him, he's he's, he's all right. You he's lied fine. to him as well. No, he knew about this. He's, he wanted to come. No, but he has got some Did doctors he? coming that aren't doctors. <laughs> the rest of the group coming. I have a list of prostate exam. That could be a new ruse. Yeah, you wow. get the gloves on. Yeah. Especially the size of your hand. <laughs> Oh, he would love it. Just make sure you interrupt me at the right point. Now you know why our guests are there (laughs) and the door's there, so you can't escape. (laughs) Don't make him cough, don't make him cough. (laughs) I wonder what you were going to say then. What's what's your favourite job that you've had? (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, uh-huh. the tone suddenly been lower. Oh. Suddenly, trash it out. Um, favorite job? Yeah. The favorite one we've ever done. The Amy and John one's. The Amy and John one was pretty. Oh, we haven't finished Amy and John John's song, have we? No, that was that yeah. was yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah we, we did we come back. Around. There's been a few um, that we've just come off, and you just you're just buzzing from them oh, because yeah. people mm. just get really into it, and you can really feel 
the energy in the room. And we do give people that release at the end because I think what a lot of people spring to when they see, oh my God, it's it's they're doing they're doing a flash mob or whatever, they want to sing along. Yeah. But obviously our stuff With doesn't our stuff always lend hard. because ours is so tailored, it doesn't always lend itself to that. Because so they don't know the words. Really they they sort of get going and they're like, yeah, along. and then they're like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, this yeah. isn't the words I know. Yeah, and then yeah. they get locked into it. Because you swap it, it. You, you change it's so good. Yeah. The, the song, all the words. So all the and it's like medleys as well. Yeah. We do we do the release, we sort of give them the sing along medley at the end to sort of get that release. Right. And that's when they get that they get that time to sort of like just let it all go and you just come some of those I've come off the bat and it's been just rock oh yeah. Satvir and Anna was one of yes, my favourites ever amazing. so that was it amazing. was this um, this couple and Satvir had booked us and she's from Birmingham and the, it's like classical Indian heritage yeah. and she had loads of Indian um friends and family there and her wife was Spanish oh, yeah. so her wife so um, she, so they were all from Spain so this is massive class, like, clash this blend of cultures yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah, room yeah, and it yeah. was a really small wedding there's about 50 of them in there and she was so brilliant Satvir yeah. was one of my favourite clients ever because she was like I want to get up and try and sing a song and she's ter- she can't sing at all and she'd been planting this seed like you have with Lauren she's, she's, she's Indian saying, I'm half Indian there you go. <laughs> yeah. they're probably related yeah so. maybe yeah. Um, so <laughs> Why are you looking at this? Wait, which half though? Honestly. Bottom half. (laughs) (laughs) So she'd been saying for for like about a year that she was going to sing at the wedding and her partner's like, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. And then on the day she gets up, she grabs the guitar and what does she sing? Backstreet Boys. Uh, She goes, you are. And just does this like random thing. She says the word drink as she says it. So she's like making the noise with her mouth and the guitar. Yeah, no, I would do that. I would so do that. (laughs) Drink. And then Josh sort of takes over and it's that, I want it that way song. And Josh takes over. Who were you pretending to be? I was a waiter. You were the waiter. I was just in the room and I sort of went, oh, it's okay. I think I'm going to save you from yourself there. Yeah. And the crowd was sort of being like, what's this guy doing? Like, yeah. what? It's, it's our day, what yeah. are you doing? And then we launched into it and it was oh. it was such a live crowd. They laughed everything. at everything. Like, everything were... just landed, all the oh. jokes landed, and it was a really And, and the Spanish and the and the, and the and the English and Indian together, like it was so cool because everybody just joined in this like yeah. they, they didn't know each other that well, but everybody That's came so together. Cool. We got the dad up, the, the Spanish dad up like dancing with me. He's quite old, but he was like dancing with me on his song and like yeah. it was just we felt like rock stars, didn't oh we? God, and then so right at the end we kept, we brought it back because the Anna, the Spanish br- w- uh, bride, had said that she wasn't gay at the start of their relationship. She said, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. So like the lyrics that we did at the end was like, we took it right back, you are her five. The one desire, and it's clear from this day that actually you are gay. Oh, brilliant. And the whole room was like, ah, like it was such oh a good God. And I think that's, that's so important good. of having the people at your wedding that you actually know and yeah. want and love. Yeah, not small just, group, but not so, ju- yeah, yeah, small and mighty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not, not the people because you want the numbers or anything like that, mm-hmm. you know. I think that's really, really important. I totally so, agree. That's so, you know, such a good point. Oh, no, I was going to say, you know, when you said you finish off with like a good song, have you ever done Hey Jude? Oh, we, we could do that. Hey yeah. one of the first. Oh, when I get oh my married, God. it's like she's one of the. It's like hey, spoil well, the content. Yeah, we'll um we'll send you the Amy and John one because it's in that we did. Hey, I think it was Hey John. It was John. Hey John. Hey Jim. 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 Hey Jim. So it worked really, and we got them all doing that. I think some other companies have tried started copying us on that one. Really? Do you know what? If you've got a if you've got a fantastic <laughs> USB and people can see that you are being successful, then people are going to try yeah, and copy. Yeah, we've seen it. I think no one is quite mental enough, though, as me, yeah. to rewrite the entire thing yeah. to be about, you know, the, the couple. So, so I, I do work. think there is, a, it is so much work. I and think people, the will, to entry people will come and they will go, you know, they will try it and then realise that they can't sustain yeah. it. Maybe, yeah. I remember you years know. ago when it was probably the first time everyone at that wedding had experienced a singing waiter, like it was mm. all brand new. And John, my John, was the best man. And they sat him on a chair and they had one direction, you don't know, you're beautiful. Yeah. And they were like, John's insecure. But he, he is. So it was like, <laughs> and there's like this what great, great black and white coat. He's like on a chair in the middle of the dance floor. Everyone's sitting down like for food. And there's a picture of him in black and white and he's just like that. And he's got all these men around Amazing. him. Amazing. It's brilliant. Oh, but we were God. like crying because you'd never heard it before. So yeah. And, yeah. What's your worst? Don't want to be worst. negative, but what's your worst? The worst one. Just um, probably this. I'm Ben. Look, there are. I mean, we've done a qu- quite a few corporates, haven't we? Where yeah. um, 
where the room's not been well set up for it and people are like there's like a partition for example and people are in the back and they're not do you go to and... see the venues before you're no, no. yeah we, no, didn't, we, didn't we do it all over that. so right, okay. we just rock up on the day and you okay. can't work with what you've yeah, got yeah you ad lib as you go along yeah there, we did one last week where the ceiling was literally like here he was like this and, yeah. and, and because of that the people at the front were a wall of sound like a wall blocking the sound and the right. people and there was a bar here as well so there's loads of people behind the bar so they can't see us right and they can't hear us right. so the half of the room is just chatting and what we do is so much a show it's not background entertainment no no, no, and no. for us we're so used to the room being like oh my god yeah. that it's really off-putting for us when there's like just hubbub and noise going on oh. in the room so it's important i think for people that are booking you to understand their venue that it yeah work. yeah, yeah. And where it works. weddings are normally fine in that sense different rooms yeah. Yeah. it's a different atmosphere at a wedding yeah. because people are used to that sort of giving people that down. space to listen for speeches mm-hmm. and things like that yeah and whereas at a corporate event there's not this and also they don't there's not that same camaraderie. There's not that same connection. We've had some amazing corporates, corporates yes, where we yeah. like teams really that are, you can really tell the teams that are, are tight and that get along and yeah. know each other and that take the piss out of each other. I think yeah. it's quite good yeah. businesses. Like, yeah. you know, my husband, you know, every year they do like an award, you know, to yeah. and, and yeah. re- recognise their staff and that. And yeah. I think that's, that would be yeah. ideal. It's staff yeah. recognition with a twist. Yeah. It's like so totally. good. Yeah. And it's the same with the weddings. It's like letting the, the br- br- bridal party know that you, how much you love them. Because yeah. we throw in, obviously we tease them, but we have that really heartfelt sentiment as well. Yeah. And that's like, yeah. that's the really nice balance, I think. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of worse ones, there's... There's not like yeah. we've had a few things like a real few close calls. Like that I remember what? when we we were going. Oh my god, we were doing one where um, we were about, so there's three speeches before us, and they're on speech two. And I said to Jem, who who used to work for us, I said, go get the mic stand and make sure you've got it with you because he's going to go in as the chef right after the third speech. Boom, and he comes to me and he's like, mic stand's gone, and I was like, what? Oh my god! And then we're trying to find the mic stand. They're on speech two of three, really? and you don't know how long you've got. Moved it. <laughs> they're, honestly, so, yeah. so what had happened was, and we didn't know this, but the, all the staff, because we'd gone off to have some food, we'd set up, we'd put the mic stand there, we'd gone off to have some food. It was a back of house. It wasn't anywhere where the guests should have been yeah, going. Yeah. And then um, we got back, and only one guy in the kitchen was like, "The bride's dad took it," <laughs> and I was like, "The bride's dad took it. He's on the table, head table, watching the speech. I can't go ask him what he's done with this mic stand." Yeah. So we're Blaffing around this venue, blaffing. Um, and we finally find it in the uh, office. Like, he borrowed it for his speech outside. Oh, I see. During the okay. And he whacked it back in their office. We found it in the nick of time and mm. then went on. But do you know when you're just like, you cannot predict that stuff. <laughs> no, no. And it happens, <laughs> things like that happen to us all the time. There's been predict. tech stuff that's gone wrong as well. We did a, a Hamilton one <laughs> yeah. where we were doing, it was all hip hop. <laughs> I wasn't there. Alex's face. Alex wasn't on <laughs> Thank this. God I wasn't Alex there because wasn't I would there. Have, I'd have died a death. I was managing this one and the... Groom had booked it and the cue was, it was at the end of his speech and he was goes, I'm not going to miss my shot. And he took a shot and then the music's supposed to come in. And it was not, um, it's not tailored really. It was a no. bit with your lyrics are a bit different, but it was like, it was Hamilton and we yeah. had like West End caliber, like right, performers, okay. yeah. West End performers doing the Hamilton thing. We put together a bespoke set and then he comes out as the chef going, you'll be back. It was, it was brilliant. Yeah. It was brilliant. It was, we had it all well. teed up and we'd rehearsed the hell out of it and it was, yeah. and it was going to be incredible. And then the cue came and the nothing happened. And nothing happened. With the longest and time. None of the, obviously so the group all the just guests, sits back the down guests going, are sort of just like, started. oh, that sounded oh. like he was going to, that was that was, was going to happen it was there. so long that people started like going to the toilet yeah. and was, like, he's filming open. it yeah. yeah so behind the scenes the sound engineer is is like pressing play yeah. but it's not there's like a glitch in iTunes and right. nothing it's not playing it's it's playing but when no sound coming Apple's out was there with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. right. the amount of times though no. I say like have a spare device yes always there, backups, always yeah. but he's and he actually had to sort of restart the computer and then it and then it worked but it was you timed it didn't you because you had that going yeah, he, he knew building. exactly. Yeah, yeah, and we were having we were taking bets in the car home about how long do you think it actually was. I like guys, you know what? It was probably like twenty seconds. Probably like it felt longer. like such yeah, a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ben was like, "I'll check the footage, guys." So we were we were ha- we were all taking we were having like a sweepstick about how long this was. How long was it? It was about a minute. Ten. It was. It was, it was oh, we yeah, had um yeah. the, so talk about singing waiters. We had singing waiters, and they they play pranks on each other where one of them will fall. 
and they'll wait a little bit longer than, than they normally would do to, oh, to step know. in. Oh, so the person's oh, on the God. floor waiting for the music yeah. and nothing's happening. Oh, you know. that would break the trust. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> like this, I'm like, you need to talk trust. about broken trust from here. <laughs> 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 Am I giving you ideas now? <laughs> we'll do oh, everything God. we can to get it back. But I, I think this is really important regarding weddings that, you know, things always go wrong. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah, you know, don't. There yeah. is not a wedding out there that you can show me that oh everything. Oh my god, don't say went... that. I'm about to get married next week. No, but, but, <laughs> things, but things no, will. No, I know having, they will. I having just don't the right that. people okay. behind yeah. you to. Yeah. Do you know what? We're going to sort this. This is going to happen. You know yeah. that that mm. minute. That minute has been forgotten because they'll only remember yes. and do you know what it was so crazy the guy that the guy that um was coming in first how does a bastard orphans and he, he was like waiting obviously and the queue just wasn't coming and what the music actually ended up doing was clipping the intro a little bit so he only had do 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 how does yeah, it he had like yeah. Duh, duh. Yeah, like and then he second. came in he was like how does it but like it so was good. so good really and he gone, really it. smashed it yeah. and so it didn't in the end it didn't matter at all and obviously in the footage you can't tell because we edited out that minute Brilliant. and i said to ben i was like i never want to see <laughs> I never want to see that minute. Yeah. I just can't. I think my stomach was hurting. Do a whole myself. reel for a minute. Yeah. Oh um, talk about games. We have a game. Ooh. Oh, and we'll just bring that on. We were talking just... about games. We were. We were talking about games. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> birthdays, it's mine. We were talking about, we were talking about games of like um, of, of playing tricks on people. Oh, we okay, oh, okay. put it here. So we can do. Oh, we'll do three. Oh, it's gonna be the one. Who wants to spin it? There we go. You do it, Josh. Can I spin it? Yeah, go on. What? Well, I don't even know Can what it's for. It? Just okay. spin it and we ask you a question. It's really gentle. The wheel goes round. Where will it stop? There we go. Oh my Jay. god. DJ, go on, Shazza. Oh, this is where she does her sake. terrible humming. You've got to guess what I've, song I've, oh, I love I've it. I've heard this. Oh, no. But it's very apt for the, for the music side of things. I'm not yeah. like, like now in the buzz box kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. Except oh, it's we much worse. They're, 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 never mind the comments. When were they bring that uh, back on normal have. TV? Uh, it was, it was my favourite. Show, wasn't it? It was yeah. such a good show. But they we had like three parts humming. You're, you're doing it all by yourself, so yeah, this is impressive. <laughs> right, give me a, you're not looking. Give me a number oh, yeah, one. to save you. One to 25. Not you. You, one, one of you. Ben. 17. I was going to say 17. Oh my god, Let me see. Give me the... No, go on, give it. That's the best one you've ever done. Isn't it? Yeah, I actually know what is it is. It? Is that right? Okay, it's not what I thought. Okay. Is it like a ring doorbell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're guessing devices. <laughs> do more, do more. Uh, do the whole chorus. <laughs> Is that the whole chorus? <laughs> oh, Karen, I'm song. really proud of you. Is I it think good? I thought, oh, she punched me in the head. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Um, On camera. I think I actually just know you so well now. <laughs> you actually said you know what humming is? <laughs> we just, can we just you know get to the... <laughs> I'm doing 15 hour days at the moment. I'm <laughs> eating beige food for my dinner. Don't get over it. it. <laughs> oh. I love the face, is what I'm yeah. enjoying. Oh, the little purr oh, at the oh. end. <laughs> A little gravel. I got nothing. I'm so sorry. I'll do it again properly, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Why do you purr Sensual. at the end? Like it. so it's a little vocal I think we're going to have to give up. <laughs> no, I give up. Yeah. What is that? On, what is it? Shall I reveal it? Go on in. I've had the time of my life. Yeah! Oh, I even danced to that in Club Mom. You're still shit. Let's see, that's something. I think, do you know what it is? I think the rhythm was good. Maybe the notes weren't the... Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the critique. The critique. Harsh. Harsh. Yeah. Harsh. Yeah. Right, yeah. actually, give it a spin. Okay. <laughs> God, I've, why did that come out with things? Oh. Oh, I thought we were going to do it again. Oh, no, it's not. It's on that Best one. Part. Best part. Best part, no. Flick. Flick it, flick. Oh. Why? Hang on. Who's Sorry. changed this? We've got DJ play that back twice. Who's... Yeah, you're meant to have it <gasps> twice. Oh, no. no. It's not... Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's in the other. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Crap. Best part. Best part of your job. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's all great. I think it's, for me, it's like I said earlier, I think it's being part of... Uh, that someone special day. It's very, it's very humbling to be invited into yeah, that really intimate, isn't it? intimate and personal space, particularly with like the proposals where it's such a. Obviously, the wedding is huge as well, but proposals are so 
you know, it's just a couple. It's so intimate. I find it really humbling to be uh, to be sort of present for those things, and let alone sort of be asked to be part of it as well. So that's really really nice. Have you done a ceremony oh, before? No. Do you know what? We haven't until next weekend. Oh, we did. Do, yeah. weekend. Oh, no, we did um, what, the wedding. wedding. We've been asked. Oh yeah, to, oh, yeah, yeah we did one, that, but that was really just you singing. And and the other oh, chap, guy. yeah, we yeah. were doing what yeah. before the I do's. I think it was for, after the I do's. For, for that one, that was years ago, and we, you sang "Stand by Me." Stand we did. We, <gasps> we've been asked to the for the love actually thing quite a few times. Right, but okay. I've, yeah. I've quoted it up for people, and they just can't afford it because that's, that's a lot of people. A lot. It's instruments and like we've just never we've just never actually. Mm. Booked, if booked they had one. people, um, the friends of theirs, so if they were like you know that would do the other parts, would you do a part? Well, Alex is doing one at her own wedding this weekend. Oh, so. yeah, my God. <laughs> We're singing, so I can say this because it's going to come out after the wedding, isn't it? Ben doesn't know about this, but you yes, can tell him. Yes, man, 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 man beyond camera says yes. Go on him. <laughs> so, um, that's a secret. <laughs> Don't put it on, like, YouTube or anything. No, it will go, um, it will go out a week. A week but, yeah. so we so Rather Be, do you know the song Rather Be by Clean Bandit? Yeah. No place I'd rather yeah. be. Yeah, so that song came out when I was falling in love with my partner, and it was it's also like a song I fell in love with at the same time I fell in love with him, and also there's nowhere I'd rather be than with him. So it was very much connected to the start of our relationship. Also, he was born in Japan, so like there's lyrics in that about that. But so in the ceremony, one one of my Taylor's team is going to stand up, and then another one, and then another one, and I've got all the wedding party that can sing, which is about twenty nine people out of the whole eighteen or so people actually. But are you in the background, like, I thought I'd give you a break. Yeah. Have a biscuit, Ben. I thought I'd give you a break. You're always doing stuff. Give me a biscuit like, right across the aisle. <laughs> Simeon down. You haven't done that before. <laughs> so it'll be fun to see how it actually kind of works. Fantastic. I've got to try and get everybody to are rehearse you gonna get together in on, on the day before. No, I think I'll just be like... At the front. Oh, okay. <laughs> so your so your yeah. so your husband to be doesn't know about this. No, fantastic. Really, he's obviously no. going to expect. He's got to expect yeah, something. I think he won't expect the ceremony though. I think no, he I thinks that we're planning something because I told him to go, fuck off out the house the other day when you were all coming over. Oh so yeah. So he think yeah. I feel like he thinks there's something Something's happening, but he'll down. think it's like a Taylor's performance, like what we normally yeah, at do. The, at the He's like, like I, I wanted to do something or this. Wanted to do something for the ceremony. Here are the keys going to bowl. That oh happened gosh. to me once at a wedding, and I didn't understand. Keys in the balls. What? Yeah, because um, <laughs> what? All of John's friends are John's four years older than me, so they're like four years plus older than me. And when I met John, I was like literally twenty three, so I was like the young, young one. And then I remember sitting down at a table, like one of John's friends, he's like a lad, he's so funny. It was like Lauren keys in the bowl, and I was like, oh, and John was like, fucking leave them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Gullible. Oh. <laughs> Gullible. Uh, so uh, just talking about, you know, your wedding and everything, when is the right time within the wedding to actually have you guys in? Is it, That's a great is question. It, is it yeah. in speeches, after speeches? I think we always talk to each couple because every wedding is so different and people have their speeches done in different times, don't they? Some of them do it before the wedding. Yeah. Some of them do them all after. We, we often go between mains and dessert to break things up a yeah. little bit. It, we always say we need to either we go with the chef ruse where the chef just comes out and that's ideally between mains and dessert yeah. or if they want a kind of interruption of a yeah. speech that has a the person has to know about it yeah. sometimes people do want us to do it where the person doesn't know and we would never do that because we people put so much effort into their speeches like yeah. you know you can't so they have to know about it and they, we have to interrupt something like so other companies do kind of just fall in the middle of service with mm. a tray of cutlery but we find that because people are in the loo people are at the bar mm. like it doesn't have the same impact so we always do something yeah. like that oh, you talking about an, Auntie Marge and she's yeah, changing yeah, a tenor yeah. lady do you know what I mean you could you have like ah, you could have like someone with a car park you know all the time they say has anyone got a reg of no 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 yeah yeah, yeah. do that the, wait, everyone's gonna the expect waitering... it to be like a chef or something that's true a car park we did attendant. guests once but the thing about our stuff in particular is the waitering works really well because we get all that waitering time because we genuinely do you're quite anonymous aren't you really as a waiter people don't are not looking at you well we make the I always like banter with the guests because I want them on my side and like I always like 
like I always like try and make them laugh. That's my plan, like to make right, every table she's laugh. A bit familiar, not giving her a then just sometimes they're like, oh, you were a bit forward for a way. Yeah, I do often. <laughs> get so forward. Yeah. The touching was a bit too far. Yeah. Because like, you know. I, like, I know yeah, I'm going to flirt with them and I thought it too much. Yeah. But, um, People often say that afterwards that we're too so, cheerful for a way Yeah. Which is miserable. Will you be all right? But we have to learn where everybody's sat. So. It's perfect for us because we have to learn where everybody sat because we right. sing about maybe like ten of them. Okay. So we we know exactly who they are. So, so we'd so come up to you and be like Lauren, da, da, da. you know, we know. Good idea for couples to give you the the seating plan. Yeah. yeah. So okay. we we but it's, it's when we get there for our sound check, the, the name cards will normally be on the table. So yeah. we sort of do a mind map. We call it of where okay, everyone's yeah. going to be. Good. And ideally, don't let your guests move around because <laughs> that's that's can be. It's annoying. actually one of I know it's a card in the box that um it, they said that that literally everybody swapped their na- their tags around because oh. they didn't want to sit with that person <gasps> and stuff like How that. How rude! You I spend know. ages on your table plan. I'm I just know. In the thick you, of it now. you argue over it and fight over yeah. it yeah. and cry over it. I'm just in the thick of it now. I don't, it's hard work it's hard work and, and also you know let the coordinator wedding planners know yeah, that oh, yeah. That, that, we liaise good. with we liaise with oh you do do you know what we did turn up to that wedding it wasn't either of us on mm. it but our team two of our team we're a really small team there's only seven of us and two of them turned up to the wedding once and there was another singing waiter company had turned up oh, oh yeah and it was so mad because <gasps> yeah. we'd obviously gone through the whole process that we do which is this is booked by the had sister. Had each couple had booked... Work? Oh, somebody had booked due no. and somebody... Had... So what weirdly had happened, and I don't know who this company were, but, like, they'd they'd quoted them and <gasps> they hadn't booked them. And they turned up anyway. And bonus. they turned up anyway. Brilliant. Well, they went, can we just join in with you? And we were like, no. No. Because you're it might be different. It, yeah. Well, it's, we've what? always asked for a scratch in it. But it's, it's completely <laughs> rewritten to be about them. Like, yeah. how would they ever join in? They couldn't. Yeah. And it was so awkward. And we had to get the client down to tell them to go away. Because yeah. we were the ones booked. So, oh, no. that, but there was another occasion where the, the groom had booked us. And then the parents had booked another company. And they, they had to, the couple had to say, yeah. the groom had to be like, I'm really sorry, we need to sort it. I had to be the person in the middle to be like, okay. I found out from the venue that this has happened. I'm going to have to ruin the surprise for someone. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But the other company had been booked after and also they yeah. don't personalise it and the groom was set on having us. Right. So they were like, yeah. obviously we're going to keep yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. So you always talk to, so, to the venue, yeah. bloody parents, parents and stuff yeah. like that. We yeah. do all that for them. We <laughs> do, yeah. we do all that. We do all that. Sarah, do you remember she was yeah. really good when you were two? I'm like, I don't know, Sarah. <laughs> uh, can we, anyone else? <laughs> yeah, uh, would you like to spin the wheel? Yeah, I'll spin the wheel. You, well, and, then, and then I really want to talk to you about your new podcast yeah. and um, yes. Flip the Table. All right. Oh. <laughs> you have to tell me twice. Quick, give me a biscuit for us. Yes, smash it over Sharon's head. <laughs> yeah. Ask us a question. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. Um, what's been one of the biggest challenges to this business that you weren't expecting at first? Working oh. with her. Oh, <laughs> oh, original, original. What for the podcast or the or the mm, boutique? Or... Um, maybe, maybe like the, having both because a lot of like some people have just the podcast and some people just have the bridal. You're obviously doing both. I'm time poor, honey. Boom. I'm so time poor. Oh, to remember because this this has gone from just us a little bolt onto the boutique. You know, not, not a bit of fun, but it was supposed to be just to. Um, give a little bit of support for the brides coming in because we were getting fed up with brides coming in off book sign so and we realised that actually they can't sing or right. they don't actually exist or you know oh, Sharon. you know <laughs> and, and, and they've booked a venue that don't have they can't have music after 10 o'clock so oh. it was more to give them a bit of guidance not on wedding planning but also you know a bit other of guidance su- yeah, but then, then it just turned in with suppliers coming in talking about their business that's you yeah. guys so people that are you know you said to me that you started watching it it's given you a few yeah. ideas 100% you know some it's pointers amazing. you know even if it's not the full lot it gives you oh actually I didn't think about that yeah. you know because yeah. you only have that one day mm. to get it right so that if, you, if we can help in any way um, but for us it, it we went from zero to a hundred yeah yeah. literally straight away and it was it can be a bit overwhelming you oh, get yeah, people who've just come back from a trade show and people were just talking about it yeah. as if we're like celebrities obviously we're not but it's like but but, like, but, <laughs> but she's like oh make it stop make it stop it you sounds know, like you obviously you had whiplash from the success of it a little right? bit like yeah i haven't had, we haven't had a chance to do it we've just you know, gone by the seat of our pants, aren't we, boss? 
<laughs> so did the late night phone call last That's night. The magic you know, happens, like, isn't it? That's it's lovely. It's we so love it. Good. It's organic and and, yeah. and that. But, but to yeah. take care of yourself, though. Don't take on too much. I say this. Uh, you say yeah, this. I've got I'm, I've got uh, in the diary a breakdown on the fourth. Uh, no, sorry, can't do the fourth. Uh, on the fifth of October for my breakdown. Your breakdown. You've yeah. scheduled it in. Yeah, we have a thing in the shop actually that I'm nobody Norfolk, then. that nobody can have a breakdown Good. at the same time. We have to literally you get fired. far away. Yeah, okay, yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice idea. By the time I get to, by the time I get to the fifth of October, actually, I'm, I'm over it. It's fine. <laughs> how do you <laughs> one twenty four hours? Yeah, exactly. Try that. Yeah. So how do you breakdown. how do you therapize yourself through the breakdown? How do you what do you do to sort of relax? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the top was not. <laughs> because I have, yeah. I've done it. I, no, I run. That's great. Okay. I, and that's, that's where I get my ideas. Figuratively, from your I, And that's where I get yeah. my ideas. And and you know, and then I ring her up, go. And I'm just like, fuck's sake, Sharon. Yeah. All right then. Yeah, yeah. She'll be like, FaceTime me, and I'm like, no. <laughs> like, Put me. your camera on. No. And then she's back there, like Miss Trunchbull hair, like leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> I am scruffer. Oh. What about you? What the question? Biggest challenge. I don't know. Probably Get, trying to balance it all in. Getting on, getting on time. Being a mum. Yeah. I literally <laughs> live miles away from the shop, by the way. I, I do further. 40 miles a day. Oh, there wow. and back. But when she yeah. first started, she lived up the road. Right. Uh, not about my fault. Five, always, six always miles. my fault. Always. I'm not saying it's your fault, but I'm saying what a good thing that I'm still here. Well done. Well I can't done. leave now. You're the face of. Yeah, <laughs> you're famous now. Yeah. You're locked we, in. Though. We did have a bride come in um, a couple of weeks ago oh, but she was so lovely it. but it's the first time we've had sort of over excitement we have people that go oh god you're you're from wedding mayhem um but oh. literally opened the door and she went oh my god it's Sharon on the podcast so, like, when i walked out she and went, i hugged her it's Lauren. and i was like oh like and me sharon earlier. stood there behind me going because <laughs> like, no, she doesn't like it so it was literally like oh, it's Lauren on the podcast and oh, she was like goodness. i didn't actually think you'd work in the shop now and you're I'm famous like, really that is and so she was sweet. like, I can't believe Lauren's putting me in a dress. And I'm like, believe oh, wow. it, honey. It's been a normal day. I oh, know, she's <laughs> lovely. And she did buy a dress for us. She was oh, absolutely she was lovely. That's the thing, it's going to be so good for your business. And it has been really good for the business. And actually, knowing people before they book you, mm. um, visually, sound-wise as well, mm. and, and yeah. know that they feel that they already are invested and already know you, that they mm. can trust you. Because yeah. I think wedding planning is all about trust. Yeah. You're yeah. booking people, paying all this money for people that you've never met 100%. in your life, you know, and it's you really hard, need to, On the most it? important day of your life. Yeah, so, 100%. And as you said before, there's no do-over. So if you pick the wrong person, that that's it. Yeah. Your whole day yeah. is like... Oh, don't yeah. say that I'm stressing <laughs> but it's funny because we've had quite a few videos go really viral yeah. and we've been to some weddings where we've had people looking at us really funny yeah and I get that every no. day don't worry it's, it is I get that walking down the street <laughs> but we, for us it's people really bad their bags if they recognise us before the surprise then it ruins it I shit you myself if I saw you <laughs> She's, she's, you are on fire. I know, she's up finally. What um, was funny is when you walked in, I saw Darren's face and he looked fuming because he said, oh, they keep interrupting our filming. And I was like, oh my God. And he looked fuming. I was like, Darren, don't don't start on him because he'll fucking take you down. Like, <laughs> you're, you're panicking. I'm like, it's God, you're like, It's guitar and hand-to-hand combat. Those are the two things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I was literally like, he, he looked fuming. I was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> um, so we, I, I really want to talk about your new your, your new venture how many I know we are actually you, you, you sound actually like me it, yeah. literally yeah so you've got literally and um, you've just started a new oh, podcast called yeah never read the comments yeah it's fantastic yeah isn't it? It's, yeah. it was just it's really just a bit of fun like you were saying bloody hilarious it's it's all, you're very organic as well so yeah. who's on it you? It's us too, but we're going to bring on guests if you're nice to us, Josh. Thanks. Don't um, scare the audience thanks. away. Um, <laughs> you'll be too busy reading bedtime stories today. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone every night. Yeah. Um, so tell us, yeah. more, tell us more about it. What's it about? Just, we read comments, don't we? Yeah. It's not what it says on the tin, because no. we read the comments. We read the you comments. Do, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. is it your comments of your... It's yeah. our viral videos, yes. both in Taylor's and Club Mob. Yeah. We we take the, some of the... Because people are weird online. They are oh. weird. And it's oh. so funny. Not, not just online, but we the, some of the emails that we get, not for our business, yeah. it's not just in the podcast, it's some of the podcast ones, sorry, in the box actually, but... Um, it's funny, isn't but, it? But, yeah. It's funny. Yeah. There are some people I, I, out there. It does worry and me. If you've got the global, if something goes against 29 million views or whatever, you yeah. get so, you get like 11,000, 12,000 comments. Yeah. The Ohio so, so killed only me. Only Ohio. Ohio. Do you know what I found out after that? So we got, <laughs> we, did a, we did a comment, we did a 
up off the sofa then when you've done that. <laughs> I'm not that heavy. No. <laughs> There's a comment That's on one of our videos deep. saying, only in Ohio, and obviously we're not in Ohio. Oh, and so we were like, oh what the heck? God. But I found out recently that that's a saying oh they do that in Ohio like that's oh, lame like, oh that's oh. lame so oh, I, I we didn't know that and we're like oh. only in Ohio lol oh. Oh, no. so, we, like, out so now you're so we now look yeah, now we look even lame so now you're getting comments know. on the comments yeah yeah oh. it's a trend it's a trend We've actually comments, got we've comments. got some comments yeah, that Ben's yeah. found. Yeah. If you want to hear, them. I want to hear them so about the, the video that um, they were talking about before, the Amy and John one. This is the first like oh, yeah. Taylor's one that went really viral. I went through the and I just picked the company, out. Really. Yeah, it was like the first the, time. Sorry, I'm just looking at Chris. It looks like he's had a nap. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go sit with right. him for a minute and cuddle him. No, right. he's had enough. Um, so obviously some of these I are like I picked a few really nice ones. No one's heard any of these yet. So the nice ones are boring. Oh, I want the funny ones. We'll do we'll do we'll do a couple nice ones. And then there's some really funny ones. Okay. Look at his hair. <laughs> Once you find your heart, never ever let it go and life becomes amazing. Take it from a 67 year old guy who 30 years later is deeper in love now than back then. Aww. It's oversharing, I think. Like, oversharing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Know. He's so cynical, Josh. Yeah. Are you, are you married, Josh? I just got, engaged, just got engaged. Oh. Okay, so you just got divorced. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's just like this. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. No, my partner is very much sunnier than I am. Um, <laughs> Both our partners are so different to us. Yeah, yeah I think it yeah, works. Yeah, they my, my husband's yeah. completely different to me. Yeah. 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 Um, I like the way she is smiling and the way he cries. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit weird. Is, is there yeah. a full stop? That's it. Yes, or, I or, like the way or he cries. Dot, 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 dot. No, man? there's more. There is more. Oh, says, so. Wish them all the happiness in the world. Okay. By the world. Okay. By the way, uh, women in the woman in black has such a sweet voice. I think that's oh, true. Oh. Not me. I'm black now. <laughs> yeah. um, oh God, lovely performance. Stupid. Lovely couple. Lovely group. And then a reply. How are you doing today? My name is Brian Cooker. <laughs> Brian, this ain't hinge. That's not how you make friends. That's not how you do it. Um, okay, so this one, this one starts like quite positive, and then it sort of like well goes down a bit. It's sexy when a real man can cry. Okay, as opposed to fake men crying, it's just the onion cutting ninja who was around when I watched this video. He's crying because he just ruined his life. <laughs> Somebody getting married. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, really? oh, wow. Does it come metaphor about an onion cutting samurai? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, um, think he's, wow. I think he's got some inner problems coming. By the um, way, top tip, if you're coming down with a cold, chop up an onion and put it by your bedside. I did wonder why, okay. where you've got that from before mm. you did chop up an onion. I was like, by your, by your bedside? Yeah. Well, then your room's just going to stink yeah. of onion. I know, but you'll have no cold left. I, want, I prefer <laughs> that than the smell. I'd be like, oh, yeah. Right. And the garlic in a garlic in your sock at night. Okay, no, I that think that's silly. That's silly. <laughs> that's silly. You've taken that too far. Now I don't story. believe you about right? the I'm going to try them all. I'm desperate. <laughs> I was, I was so, so you, two weeks off breakdown day. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear we're out. I'm going to have an onion garlicky box. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a lasagna in here. Um, <laughs> Oh, um, All right, last one, last one. That's what I had last night. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be divorced in about six years. And then a reply, how are you doing today? My name is Brian. <laughs> Those comments were two years apart. No, <laughs> he's God. still trawling it, looking for a date. Oh, oh poor oh, Brian! Oh, that's really oh, sad. Oh, no. But also, they're not bloody divorced, and it has been six years because that's yeah. 2018, and they've got two kids. Yes, they're Could very Could you happy. imagine actually at your wedding and like you stand up and be like, I fucking found Brian. And Brian stood there. I love that. Brian. Feel free to interrupt my wedding if you do find Brian. If I find yeah. Brian, I'll hope, don't, you don't worry. Oh, we Brian need, will find you. <laughs> we need to find Brian. I can Brian Cooker stand right up going, there. I'm Brian. Chris, Chris, yeah. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> um, we, we we do need to round off a little bit, but you, where, where can we find all of this? Okay, so our podcast is on Instagram. It's never read the comments UK. Yeah. Is that yeah. what we settled on? Yeah, I can't yeah. even remember. Like yeah. <laughs> if you never, never read the comments, you'll see our little faces like yeah. this. So you should find it. And what you um, want, Spotify. And Spotify and YouTube as well. Yeah. We've, got yeah. a new, we've got all of one subscriber so far, guys. Yeah. It's me. Brandy. <laughs> ah. Oh my God. You're about to get two. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah. 
Don't, we've only released like one Don't episode, actually run to watching so. it, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Not as a good tripper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my goodness. Um, and then Club Mob and The Taylors are all also on Instagram, on TikTok. If you just put in The Taylors or Club Mob, both of them are linked to each other. So if you find one, you find, find the, the other. other. We've got a website. If you put Club Mob or The Taylors, it's Taylors Surprise Singers, I think you have to find our website. Did I see yeah. that you're looking for um, people to do a Christmas show? Oh, that was last year. The Greatest Showman. That was last, like, oh, was last no, year. No, no, sorry. Yeah, that's, that was, that's, that's, been, that's been gone. I was like, am I? We, we heard the DJ run in that section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was last year. So we do put castings up. If you're a performer, we do put castings up. So yeah, get get in there. Sometimes. Do you remember that? that we'll week? send you our video at Harrogate this week. Do you remember that X Factor audition where it's like when your mum tells you to bring your brother along and then it'll be Sharon being like... Whoa. <laughs> move your body, come on, move your body. Be I think I could execute that. I think so. Too. I think I'd be alright with that. Say move, your right. move your body. Oh. A bit like a sexual predator. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've been really kind. And you've got our listeners um, a little oh, gift when yes. they book you. So if you book us through the Wedding Mayhem podcast, um, as in if you email us and you say that you found us on this podcast we will throw in we've not agreed to this yet but I'll explain it (laughs) it doesn't affect you you still get paid Um, uh, we'll throw in an acoustic set for free to your to your booking which is um, basically after we do the surprise and there's like wow amazing blah 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 then um we go and get changed into something glitzy and then we come out and we do like some background fun upbeat numbers just while everybody's having that lull in between the wedding the, the wedding meal and yeah, the um lovely. party Fantastic. so it fills up that time it's something live and, yeah. and fun and everybody knows us by then so they're all like hey it's, it's quite cute so that's worth like 180 pounds that, that's amazing that, um, that add-on. thank you so so much yeah. um i just want to know that when we say glitzy is josh going to be in spandex it can be. Yeah. It's tailored to you. <laughs> <laughs> and the spandex is tailored to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's so many things. And we've got to be right now. When, we, when you are already finished, we've got a song to play you out. Perfect. Should we do that now? Yeah. Oh Come on. And then. I know yeah. it's happening. Right, no, yes. it's happening. No surprise. Just do a little trumpet. Yeah. You, you do a trumpet. A trumpet. Yeah. We, we were going to get, I said to him, can you bring a harmonica? Um, and just do the harmonica part. I've never played I it before. Play oh, I should have brought my recorder. Oh, there you go. Are we still going to stand up again? <laughs> what's easiest? Because I can be yeah. anywhere. Sit down. Stay safe. Okay. Sit down. It's easier for you to be here. Or yeah, sure. Can I can come down. down. Yeah. Oh, I want to dance to this one, though. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> just going to be my face. And... Okay. <laughs> you in the back, like. Okay. You ready? You're going to know it. Love, love me do. You know we love you. We'll always be true. So please, love me do. Oh, love me do. If you need a dress, a dress. that will surely impress without any stress. No stress. Or for a dress to love That's shiny and new And fits just like a glove Get down to love me do Love, love me do You know we love you We'll always be true So please Love me do this company from nothing on my sofa I and that's just so that like it's now. really really no, lovely no I totally understand how you feel it's okay it's right. I have a little gift for you oh that's oh. coming in oh. snot and tears now it's so much it's so so much. Much. So, so, I can clone her I've got her DNA <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird thing to say alright something for you to wear on the day oh. thank you so much for coming on <laughs> it's a tiny little dress <laughs> a tiny little <laughs> Mind you, some of the things that we've seen this this weekend, you probably probably oh. could fit in an envelope. Do you know what? I'm thankful to you as well because you said pubes, not boobs. And yes. that's really yes. stuck with me. So I like, because they say pubes, pubes. boobs. So but I've said it to people and they still haven't here. listened. Oh, You've got to yeah, hold yeah, it yeah. here. Because yeah. you oh. want people don't 
You, you want people to see your dress. No, you want people to see your look. tiny waist. Here you go. And you, then okay. you just look. People like... walk up the aisle like this. Oh, yeah. it looks Because they're so nervous. They're like, I'm going to hold a plant pot on the aisle. And, and you <laughs> should <laughs> lo- lower it. Just the whole lower it to your boobs. So, because we can want to see the top out, top of your dress. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, so, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. And, and, and or, the... as a lady said to me that had an accent, bush to the bush. Bush to the bush. Bush to the bush. Bush to the bush. bush, bush. bush. She went bush to the bush. Oh, bush to the bush. I just got the big like a bush. And she did sound like that. Bush um, the, the lady bush. that gave us that idea was, was 90 something, wasn't she? It was grandmother. She was really, yeah, she was really, really old and really posh. And she just went, pubes, not boobs. And we were like, oh. amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. It's like um, brilliant. Switch camera. So this camera, can you tell everybody to subscribe to us, to subscribe to you? Yeah, subscribe to Wedding Mayhem, subscribe to Never Read the Comments. <laughs> Follow us all Come on everything, famous. please. We'll put all the links up. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> please. I mean, it's like... It looks like Puss in Boots on Shrek. It's just got that little baby face. You know where we go. <laughs> thank you for listening thank you for subscribing thank you for all the comments thank you for all the dms um those, thank you for all the lies all the <laughs> all the love oh, coming no. through um these questions from the public are are, um, are having us howling and some great suggestions in there so keep them coming and we'll see you all next week bye thank you so much oh you're so welcome so have you got electrical faults? No. No, luckily. You've not had it all week at all? No. But we've had like lengthy conversations about it all morning. Oh, God, yeah. the and, and that's on the phone. the groundwork for us. Is oh, yeah. yeah. Well yeah. done, guys. And I, and I rung her going, right, you might be a bit delayed. Please don't panic. There's literally electrical vans everywhere. <gasps> That's good. You guys did the legwork. Oh, you did the yeah, yeah. That's incredible. Why is it always me? Because <laughs> <laughs> you forgot even that we, what we were actually doing. You got the email and you packed the bloody dresses. And you still got there and went, you what are we doing? Why is he bringing, why bringing, why just bringing to just... this sort of stuff? <laughs> Oh, that's what I said, didn't I? Because I give her so much, she just trusts me. And just she does just it. She bombards me. <laughs> <laughs>